Hey guys, Dominic here with BB Guns for Less. Today I've got for you the Double Eagle M57 L96 Sniper Rifle. Uh, you might know someone's sighted different places, there's a reason for that. Uh, so, as you can see from the box, it's apparently a Super Sniper Rifle. Uh, accurate competition, bolt action, uh, 440 FPS on point twos, one piece precision metal barrel, high power pinpoint accuracy performance, which we will be putting to the test in this video. Uh, long range shooting and open bikes and also with a spring operated speed loader and a sling so this is made by Double Eagle uh, so let's open the box and see what you get now this is the, one thing I should mention this is the M57A uh, this model doesn't come with anything uh, it's just a rifle however on our website we do have the option to add either the bipod the scope or the scope and bipod what you get. So you've got your instruction manual, uh, I'm going to point one thing out to you as well. Uh, in the instruction manual there is a slight error with the building. Uh, it actually tells you that you get the screw separately, but you don't. I'll talk more about that in a minute. And you see it's just got what not to do and what to do. Uh, it's got all your little bits and bobs in there. Quite important, this is the maintenance section. Uh, because this sniper rifle is a higher grade rifle, you want to follow this to the letter. So, let's move on to the gun. As you see, Hall of Fame. As it's pretty well packed. So, get your little bag of BBs. Uh, I would say don't use them. Allen keys, these are very important. I'll show you what both of them are for in a minute. Your sling. Speed loader. So it's just a standard speed loader. Your magazine. Now the magazine is, the lower part of it is metal. This is plastic and it does slot in like so. Put your BBs in there. Here's the way to do that. Put your thumb behind it and then use the speed loader. Your barrel. The barrel is metal. This part's metal as well. Upper rail is metal. The trigger assembly box is plastic. Metal, you can disassemble this, I wouldn't recommend it. And your two stage trigger. And then you get obviously your stock. Uh, it's plastic bodied. You've got a nice adjustable rubber butt stock at the end. You adjust the cheek rest. And it's got a metal. Uh, internal structure. So let's put it together, nice and simple. Push it together like so. Now this is what I was saying about the instruction manual not being fully correct. Because the instruction manual tells you to get the screws out of the box and put them in there, they're not. You want to take this big Allen key. Right, so you have one screw just here. Get it in, tighten, tighten, tighten. Now you only ever want to go hand tight which is there, and then at the back, straight through the back of the trigger. Now sometimes these can be awkward to light because you can't see where you're going, but as long as you're going straight, it's not a problem. Let me go back to the front one. Hand tight. Uh, now the hop up on here, don't know how well you're going to be able to see this in this light. You've got your normal one hop there, and you've got this panel here. What you want to do is get your smaller Allen key, and down between there there is another grub screw. That is where your hop up is. As you can see, the rifle is fully built. Magazine. Now what I'm going to show you is, if you choose the scope option, this is the scope you get with it. It's a standard 3x9x40 scope. It uh, comes with the covers as well, and you also get the mounts. Now, what I'm showing you here is just the setup for the uh, uh, the C, which is the scope. Uh, the, obviously, if you go with the bipod, it comes with an adapter that goes in the front, and your bipod comes off there. So, in the mounts, you get your two mounts and another Allen key. 
Now there's two ways you can do this, I'm going to do it the way I prefer. Some people will actually put the mounts on the scope first and then on the rifle. What I prefer to do is get the mounts actually on the rifle first because at least you know your mounts are straight. Right, so I've already taken out three of the bolts. I'm just going to take out the last one for the scope. It's just Allen keys. So literally do that. Take your covers off. Now a lot of people don't know how to put a scope on. All right, what you want to do, this is the way I do it, unscrew one of the covers and it should have up around on it. That's your one that faces up. It is easier if you do this from the side. Uh, sorry, from the rear of the rifle, so you can make sure it's perfectly straight. That looks about right. Get your covers. All you do is just get them lined up. And get your own key. And just simply tighten them up. You don't want to tie them up all the way, you want to leave a little bit of slack in them until you get the others on. And this is what this will allow you to do, is once it's on it will obviously hold the scope on the rifle, but you can slide it back and forth uh, to set the correct eye relief for yourself. No one else can actually put this rifle on other than the person using it, mainly because everyone's eye relief is different. As you see, I've now got the scope on, double checking these Allen key threads, make sure the scope is tight. Now, I've got it quite far back, this is set up for me. As I did say earlier on, you'll need to set it for your own personal uh, eye relief. You see, I've also put the covers on. Now, you get the magazine, need some BBs. Alright, so I've got some BBs, uh, these are point twos. So, as I said, you hold down the magazine, put your thumb behind it. The easiest way, come in at the right angle, and then the gun itself holds about 20 rounds, nice and simply hold the gun, and what if I put it in the right way? This is in. I've got the chrome cell next to me. This is on 0.2 gram BBs. So as you can see, it's round about the sort of 380 to 400 FPS. I've got a target set up down one of the aisles. Um, I've put the scope on. I've not adjusted the scope, so let's see what you can do with the scope like it is. Let's remove the covers. See down now, I've got the scope on one of the boxes. Slightly high. Let's go and see what this grouping looks like. So I was firing from 20 meters on point twos. I would normally for sniper I'd use something heavier. And so this target is 
uh, 17 centimeters. That's from the corner to corner. So I'd probably say there's about 10 centimeters there. Furthest one, and that's probably another furthest one. This is all in that grouping. I'd probably recommend using 0.25s, maybe even 0.3s for this. As you can see, it's a pretty accurate rifle at that range. So uh, if you want to see more videos like this, guys, don't forget to check the link in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name's Dominic, guys. Happy shooting.